Hi, welcome back. This is the little video that I said I'd make for you across the board there. How you finish off your frets once it's been fretted. I've been making these for about 10 years now. I tend to make quite a, quite a few. So I don't like spending too long on um, jobs like this. And there is a way that you can actually get a really good finish on your frets. I use it on my belt sander. First, take all the frets down from it. Then run it at an angle. Now, I'll look you see there, the angle and the end of the press. Now, there's a piece of grip. Take sharp corners off. Piece of wet and dry, about a thousand, a thousand grit. You can hear that it's all smoothed off the sound that's coming off the paper. And that's it. One ukulele fretboard, fretted, ready to go. I just now. Hi, welcome again to Bill's Workshop. It's been nice today using my brand new CB Gitty fret saw for the first time. I really forgot how much easy it is to use a new saw. The old saw came from Stu Max about 10 years ago. But the reason I think it's that it lasted so long is this guard, depth guard, but when it's pulled down it also protects the teeth. This one's cut about 200 fat boards, so I think it's done quite well over 10 years. But I have my brand new Gitty saw. Now, what I'd like to demonstrate to you is how I use a fretboard as a template. I'll just let you have a look at this. We've got a straight fretboard. This again has been probably used about a hundred times. That's the neck that I'm cutting for this rubina here. We've got a piece of wood that's screwed down onto the worktop. That's pushed against it and then we've got the fretboard. So with your saw, the thing about fret saws, don't try and push it. You've got a lovely sharp blade, you let the blade do the work. I like to just mark it really, take it out here and then finish it off to the correct depth. So we'll Get rid of that just now. Put it back on its. So this got to be a. It's a lovely box, this Rubina. I like them. Another thing that I've been working on is a fiddle cigar box. Guitar, here we go. Lost it for a minute. It's uh, maybe not the, the, the perfect box for this, but taking the lid off, and what I've actually used is recycled maple from Canadian maple floorboards. This one I cut to that is about one and a half millimeters. This one is about two and a half millimetres. And I found that the two, two and a half millimetres is just right to take the weight off the strings. 
On the underside, I've used two pizzos. And what I do is I secure them with epoxy resin. I like them. Um, it glue it dries very hard, and for me, it gives a lovely clean tone. And although I see a wire's come off this one, but if you put enough on, the glue also keeps the wires attached to the piezos, which is important because this top will be glued on to this, which is my cigar box. I've got my three string cigar box guitar using a fiddle body. Here is one of my, this is the most used pickup for me. It has two 28 millimeter piezos in it. Again, I've used epoxy resin to hold them in place. Use a bit of super glue to get it to hold first of all. Then epoxy resin and make sure that you get it over the wires that touch onto the piezo because you could tug these and they won't come off. The problem with pieces is the wires quite often just pull off. While I'm going to move on to something else, there's a piece of music just coming up, and it's a good friend of mine, Colorblind, Colorblind Slim, who's going to play a cigar box guitar of mine using one of these pickups. Have a listen, see what you think, tell me if you like it or not. Bye just now. get it with a, a, a genuine American number plate but it doesn't come with a number plate so anyway what I've done is I've glued the box together fed corner posts cut off the surplus and what I'm going to do is fit the piezo I'll get glued on I'm going to put captive nuts on the underside glue them on with uh, epoxy so that you can screw off the number plate, put on something different, go to California, stick on the California number plate. So I've got to put it between the, the plate and the lid. Not sure how it'll sound, you guys will probably know a lot better than me. But the problem with the the boxes, the 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 plane and I just wasn't sure what to do with it. So what I've done is I've actually photocopied some cigar boxes saved off and what I've done is put all these strips on to it's on an A4 piece of paper if you go to my website guitartech.co.uk and if you go to the menu on the left hand side you'll see art work click on that and then right click and you can save it off and print it off and then just use a paper cutter to cut them out. So I'm still playing around with this but the, the idea is that you've got a nice plain section put on a bit of border and it brightens it up. I don't know what you use but I'm still playing around with it. Anyway, it's a freebie on me. Go in, load it 
maybe Ben might have an idea of putting some artwork on the CB Gitty page and we can all go in and, and download lots of different coloured borders. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed my visit, the, your visit to my workshop. If you'd like any more how to do videos, just let me know. I'm quite happy making them. Thank you very much again. Hi everybody. I mentioned in one of the videos um, where I was making the, the violin that I use recycled um, maple floorboards. And um, this floorboards came out of a squash core, um, very dry. She was probably cut down about 70, 80 years ago. Very, very mature. So I've made two acoustic guitars out of the wood. This is one. It's got a name. It's called Old Treacle. And you can see that it has one, two, three, four, five pieces of wood laminated side by side to give it, um, to get the distance. But it has a, a really, really, really beautiful tone. But I'm not very good in guitar, so I'd like to give you a wee treat. It's a friend of mine, he's a classical guitarist, and he's playing a Scottish Lament. Now, I know that you think that all Scottish music is very sad. Um, we like your Irish music much better, jigs. And anyway, a lament, it is just a wee bit sad. So here you are, a wee treat from Scotland. Bye. Thank you.